Hello everyone, my name is Rage, and welcome to my Synergy Lab, a facility dedicated to concocting the very greatest, most marvelous, multi-layered, and mayhemic, that's a word now, of all the synergies in Isaac. Nowhere else will you find anything as incredibly powerful, as beautifully beautiful, and as sizably sizable. Look, I really need to hire a better writer. This is just frickin' abysmal. Alright, today I want something very pretty, but I also want something a little bit controlled with just a tad of, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Basically, the perfect recipe for your Sunday afternoon. So, we are going to start by acquiring... Uh, some actual tears up, you know? Nothing too uh, crazy. Now, obviously you'll tell from the title we're going to end up with a little bit of magnetism, and uh, that's all well and good. We just can't quite get it yet, because otherwise, well, this room is not fun to be in at all. Also, exciting news, the Synergy Lab's been updated. Look, we now have the scientist and the leprechaun, if we need a very lucky uh, character. How... Awesome is that. Okie dokie. We're also going to be grabbing ourselves a little bit of rubber cement, which I think will do very nicely for our initial foray. And we'll also grab cancer while we're here, which is a sentence no one at any point ever should say. You know, I was at the hospital earlier and I thought, you know, while I was there, it just... It just doesn't work, does it? Though, I guess if you're like a supervillain and you live in a world where there's a culture of supervillain societies, there probably would be an evil medical facility dedicated to people who want to, like, threaten the world with kind of bioweapons, where you can go and you, like, get a little little evil shopping basket. It's got, like, a little cute skull painted on it because I think everyone would definitely be self-aware and kind of humorous in their evilness if it was a world constantly used to being threatened by evil villains and you kind of walk around this bio market to lovely almost elevator music like da, 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 that's the soundtrack for purchasing deadly viruses and you know you just walk around the shelves and go mm, that sounds cool makes people's skin fall off yeah we'll have a bit of that oh two for one on eyeballs exploding oh it's a good job you've got a pair of them you know you could kind of see that happening just tastefully picking it out off the shelves and you know you could have super weapon depot where hmm moon lasers are 50% off but there is a buy two get one free offer on nuclear launching devices mm, I'm just not sure how I want to threaten the world today I don't know whether to employ the evil volcano base architecture team or the underwater laboratory guys it just, oh, it's difficult being an evil genius. Okay. Next up then, we are going to grab ourselves a round of a look. I think you're going to be really surprised how different this looks from how it does on the early floors once I am done, which is something that I think is always a good thing in any given Synergy Lab, of course. Cool. All of that being annihilated. Ugh. God, so many worms, so little time. Hey! Talking of so many worms, I don't know why this made me think of that, but you'd also have to have, like, an evil creature monster shop as well. It'd be like, oh, they're all kept in cages, but, you know, nice cages. You've got to be, you got to be ethical and humane to your evil creatures of uh, the Nethersphere, which could also be the name of the shop. Or it could be the Nethermart. I kind of like Nethermart, where there's some demons ready for sale. And, you know, you, you kind of read a little plaque, you read what they're about, how they like to do, the chances of them backfiring and killing their owner in a twist, you know, all kinds of things like that. I think, I think that's where it's at. So we want to get ourselves a the eye in the back of the head. And with all that look, that's going to work out lovelyly. Yes, it is. Lovelyly, of course, is definitely a word. 100%. And then we're also going to grab ourselves number one. So we lose a little bit of range. Yes, we're actually going to want a completely minuscule amount of range in uh, this Synergy Lab. I mean, how many of you are actually kind of guessing where this is going, apart from the obvious inevitable uh, magnetism that I just possess, because, you know, people find me very, very appealing. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, I wish. I I really, really wish. We're gonna grab Loki's horns as well. There we go. And then finally, Eve's mascara. So we really have some short, tiny tears here, which is actually going to make probably the flaws reasonably difficult. Probably was some of the most difficult we've ever had in a synergy lab, but it's all worth it. In the name of glorious synergizing, I will conquer all. By our powers combined, I will do it. If you were actually in a kind of Power Ranger situation where you had to form a giant robot, would you want to be the body, arm, or leg? Or, of course, the ever-popular head. Would you want to form the head, or... Would you want to be one of the limbs? Because being the head sounds appealing, but really, what's the head going to do? You're going to sat, there, you're going to sit there and give instructions to your team. Don't get me wrong, that's fine and all, but at the same time. I mean, you're not going to really be in charge of anything. If you've been put in control of, like, the arm, then you've at least got some good stuff going on, you know? And that's pretty damn good. So we're on Catacombs 1. So what we're going to do now is grab ourselves my reflection. So, yeah, we've now got a really, really low amount of range. Look at this. It's kind of absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Part of me wants to just use the boss teleport because it really is going to be difficult doing this. But you're starting to get a little bit of a shadow of how the synergy will end up now, which is very, very good. Careful. I mean, I don't need to be too careful. Let's be real here. I've got a lot of health and a lot of power behind all of this. And then we also want to go over here and grab ourselves the whiz. Kind of double it up from the front. And this is cool because we end up with a almost star-like shape, and everybody does like some star-like shapes. Gonna take some more tiers up, just because we want as many tiers as possible when we do this. I nearly went for that money there, kind of forgetting what the hell it is that I'm even attempting to do here. So what's cool is I can basically just walk through rooms now and everything will kind of die. But I'm definitely still vulnerable. There's no question about it. I'm hoping that when we're finished here, I will be more along the lines of invulnerable, but we shall see. I need to grab myself the wafer, and I'm also going to grab the holy mantle, looking pretty good. Let's move on. Isaac himself not really looking as good. It does look like he accidentally got in a breakout at the Biomart, fell out of the window and landed in the nether compound and got mauled by a creature of unspeakableness that you can't even see its formless face. But at the same time, we're at least enjoying ourselves. Yes, we are. We are enjoying ourselves. Oh my god, that is the secret to success on YouTube. I just realized the common cold we need. The common cold, obviously, not the secret to success on YouTube, but that's by the by. The secret to success is come up with a way that when people watch your videos, they get hypnotized into a trance, and then when they wake up at the end, they don't remember anything, but what they do remember is that they had just the best time in the world watching your videos. Then you don't even actually have to produce any content worthwhile. You just have like 10 minutes of this hypnotic like tone and everybody just thinks they absolutely love your content. Now I could turn this into quite a burn, but I'm gonna resist the uh, temptation here as uh, we grab ourselves the mutant spider, the inner eye, and the uh, 2020. Well, since we've gone full tier amount on this, we're also going to grab Mum's contact, Mum's perfume and the eyeshadow. So we've got really quite the colourful set of balls. <laughs> and then we're going to get car battery and the sharp plug. I mean, props to you if you're guessing where this is going so far. Props to you. And then we're going to... In fact, you know what? We'll, 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 I'm okay for this floor. I am okay for this floor. So let's teleport and fight the mega fatty! Would you want some of my balls, Mega Fatty? You want some of this color? Yeah, you do. Uh, to be fair, this synergy does look very tasty, doesn't it? Like, if this was like a pack of sweets with all these various colors and textured looking orbs, I mean, they do look very, very scrumptious. There, There is no denying that. So we also need transcendence as well as caffeine pill. So we get super, super small. And now we are going to head over to the uh, 
Curse room, not curse room, it's a shop. I kind of forget where I am, if I'm honest with you. It happens all the time. I'll just end up in the middle of the street with no idea how I got there. So, you may have guessed where we're going when I got the battery items, but we're going to do this, because this is very, very cool. Now, uh, come on, yep, all right, cool, there we go, I managed it. So now we end up with some fairly good tier rates, and look at this, all of this lovely, colorful splashing going on over the place, but we can improve it, look at that. Does that not look awesome? Then we go to the final stage. It's just this roving ball of color. Look, just zooming through the room like a weird alien tentacled creature drifting backwards and forwards in its colored glory. But, you know, we're not done there. But I love how close all the tears end up being. I really, really do. Okie dokie. We are going to uh, go to the next floor, and then we will finish this synergy off. Because there's only a couple items left, but they do actually massively uh, change things. It's kind of absurd how ridiculously they uh, change things. Come on, little nubs, you need to get destroyed. And also, from the point that we get magnet tears onwards... We're going to be in quite the pickle, because basically, we're not going to be able to decide to have a trinket anymore. It's just not going to happen. It's unbelievable how ridiculous that room is when we have this many magnet tiers. And you may be thinking, well, just don't fire them. Well, shh, no, you have no idea what's about to occur. And stabby, stabby. Ooh, magic mushroom. If but only I needed more damage. But we don't want our tiers to get too sizable because they do have a couple size upgrades in the works. So I need to head down to this item room, grab ourselves proptosis. Yes, indeed. We want them to kind of run out. Look at that. Looking good. And then I also need double trinkets. There we go. Because we want to get ourselves a little bit of, well, cancer. So once again, oh my god, back at the beginning, it came full circle. <laughs> and uh, break our tear cap just a tad. As we want as many tears as possible without doing the trick that really lets us have as many tears as possible. Fortunately, we did get a little bit of a damage up there. So I'm going to just go get hit by that. Yay! We got blue. Absolutely electric. Why electric? Oh, I think it's because I said blue, and that obviously rhymes with boogaloo, so I thought about electricity. In fact, that reminds me of uh, the song that I listened to ages ago. It's probably a pretty famous song, actually. I'm gonna rock down to electricity. Trick Avenue, that, that song. I always heard the lyrics that immediately come after that, and we need God's Flesh because it adds some really nice glowy blueness to this. I always thought the lyric that came after that was electric covered fire, which I thought was badass. Like, I didn't understand why he was singing about fire coated in electricity, but I didn't care. I was freaking there. That looked amazing to me. I mean, imagine being able to shoot a stream of electric covered fire. So I should probably stop talking uh, and focus on Finishing the synergy, eh? I'm sorry, I know I've got a bad habit of doing that. I know I do. Okay, so, looking pretty good. The last few components, then, as I acquire them, we have ourselves the marked. We want to not be able to stop firing, because this really does need to be a hands-off approach synergy. And then we also want to grab ourselves lost contact, because this makes it look incredible. Look at that. It adds such a neat layer to this. So, what I'm going for here, if I can get my speed going from our lovely milk abusage of the system. Look at that. Look at that. This tiny little ball. I say tiny, but relatively, you know, compared to how tears normally go, of the sheer colour just moving through a room. There's no Isaac anymore. It's just this living entity of beautiful colour, overlapping, undulating, just caressing everything in its path. This alien, off-worldly creature, this entity, this life force passing through all. I just think it looks beautiful. Now, of course, we do need to add magnetism to this, and as you can imagine, that just makes it awesome. 
But it also means that things are going to go absolutely mental. So if you're like, excuse me, I'm going to pick this up and then run like heck. And obviously, the sad thing is, is I can't really see where I am. So I don't want to accidentally take the wrong item. And... Uh, straight to tractor and go! Alright, I did it, guys. I did it. I did it. I absolutely did it. I'm so proud of myself. Let's grab the thing. So there we have it. We've reached our synergy status. Now, of course, uh, the question that I need to ask you guys, how uh, do you rate this one? I mean, technically speaking, it's kind of annoying that I have lost my... Careful. I need to get myself a little bit of charge. Come on, I want the first few to die, and uh, there we go, alright, alright, we can do it, careful, I don't want to kill them yet, I don't want to kill them yet, no, no, alright, there we go, alright, we've got it, we've got it, so, in terms of looks, out of 10, power, out of 10, defense, out of 10, your gut feeling, out of 10, as I, we'll go even one more, and now I'm just going to nicely move around the room, this lovely alien creature, flowing color, too beautiful and majestic for human comprehension, all must be consumed, all must be destroyed, for there is nothing that can evade its majesty, no force in heaven nor earth that can stomach the raw power. To look upon it is to be frozen in raw awe. <laughs> to look upon it is to see the pure cosmic energy of the stars and to know that you are truly nothing in its wake. Now, we occasionally do take damage, but for the most part, it's basically immunity to everything while all that stands before you gets absorbed to the death. Wow, I just got like catapulted away there. Look at it, is this not great? Oh, and the cool thing is, is I found this one entirely by accident while working on a synergy that you will see at some point. And I just think that's wonderful. The occasional bounce that I get is just phenomenal. Hey, you. And absorption. <laughs> it's so good. I don't want it to end, but the uh, boss rush eventually <laughs> is going to. How good is that when we get shot across a room? I can't wait to see how the hush deals with this. That's the main thing. Oh, you survived, and there we go. Okie dokie, let's head down to the next floor. So obviously, when we don't have the milk spam tier rate bug going on, it's no winning it. Oh, here we go. And yep, this is why we can't rely on trinkets for this synergy. Oh, Christ, let me out the room. <laughs> Oh no, we got room one. It makes it go absolutely mental. Okay, all right. Look, I just want to leave the room. Okay, all right. This is fine. Oh, we're going the wrong way. You know what? I'm just going to have to use the challenge me because it's just never going to work otherwise. <laughs> it's just never going to work. All right, round two. Trinket pile on. Here we go. Get him, lads. Get him. <laughs> it just looks so good. Oh, give me the, give me the, give me the card. I can't actually move. It's just fighting me too much. Oh, no. All right, let me, let me out. Okay. All right, we did it. I managed to get out. Now we're kind of wobbling backwards and forth, but I think we can handle that overall. I, I think we can handle that. God, it's so deadly getting magnetism with auto tears here in the Synergy Lab. It really is. Hey, guys. See, I just like in each one now, just as soon as it pops out, everything in the room just gets completely and utterly drawn towards it, and there's not really much anyone can do about it. Now, there are a few variations you can go with this. You can get Cricket's Body, you can get the Parasite, you can Hell get Infinity, and you can really change things up, but I just really like it in its pure form. It's actually too many tiers for my liking to start getting split shots and adding Godhead and stuff. It just It's just not necessary, you know? It's too over the top. But, of course, we need to see how it fares against the Hush, and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty damn potent. No, go away. I don't care. Eh, that would have been an alright-ish thing, I think, but eh, actually, that kind of sucks. If this was a normal run, we would have had a disappointing hush here, but that is fine. Let's do this thing. Okay, we want one, then we want to uh, break our milk, replenish it with the sharp plug, and we want to go once more, and finally, one more to get up to maximum. Here we go. In fact, can we do one more? 
Yeah, there we go. Hello, you. See, this is what I like. It's so chaotic, but at the same time really controlled, because unless we want to kill him, we can get really close and still not. See, he's almost touching. Look at that. Is that not just perfect? And he obviously can't damage us because of the shielded tears. And then, boom. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, you. Goodbye. And then the hush himself. This is where things might get interesting. But how good is this? No matter what he does, it's just not going to affect me because of all my tear blocking that's going on. Though if he just moves into me, that's obviously going to be a problem. In fact, because this is so close range, it actually kind of sucks at killing the hush. I mean, if I actually get the tears damaging him, it really is melting him. But I have to get dangerously close. In fact, they killed the flies instantly there. Normally, they're a little bit immune when they first start. But look at this. I'm just this little color blur hugged onto the side of the hush. And he just can't do anything. He's just there like, ah, get it off. Get it off, please. Get it off me. Oh, my God. Get it off me. And no hush. Nothing and no one can save you from this beautiful growth of power that is draining your strength. Absolutely nothing and no no one can come to your aid! Apart from giant laser beams, they, they still tend to go through, but there we have it. Let's go face Isaac, and consequently Mega Satan. Oh Christ, here we go. Ah, ah, come on, oh my god, I'm just being like, Jesus, please. Please, let me get out the room. Let me get out the room. Okay, we got red patch and little battery this time. That's, that's totally fine. Absolutely. Totally fine. Careful. This room is actually really dangerous with the synergy when I don't have the extra tiers to make sure everything dies instantly. Although most normal enemies are being completely stomped by this, even without the super extra tiers that are going on. So that is good to see. Maybe I should have got Pyromaniac just for extra survivability, but I'm sure it's not too big of a deal. Careful. There we go. All right, Isaac, not long now until I come for you. Not long at all. Open that, that's good. And hello, how are you? Pretty good and pretty dead is what's actually going on. I had to use my spacebar there, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to charge it instantly. Although I guess I'm going to blue baby anyway, so it's not crazy important. Okay, that's that's fine. I ran out of keys. That's totally good. And keep his one, keep his two, unlock the Satan door so that I may fight some more. And then I wonder if I can just literally walk through the chest. Oh, careful. Be a little bit embarrassing to die. Well, not really, because this is fairly dangerous. As far as synergies go, unpowered up, it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> I like it, though. I do definitely like it. Never thought spiders would be a threat on the chest, but there you go. How's that damage doing? Still really quite high, so that is a fine. Ooh, that was close. At least it's not magnetizing bombs, so we got that going for us. Very nearly just walked into that fire, because I'm just so cool. <laughs> Great. Of course, I internally laughed at the notion of me being cool, as it turns out. Why did I bomb that? What part of me thought that I needed to bomb that? That's really weird. Do you ever do that? Do you ever do something, then kind of realize what you've just done, and have this moment of, why? Why did I do that? I'm actually really a little bit scared. What did I think was happening there? I'm so confused. All right, blue baby. You should get absolutely obliterated. Now, technically speaking, I could power up, but I actually don't want to waste the health. I think genuinely I'm going to need it on Mega Satan. So there we have it. Let's -a go all the way back. How have I avoided picking items up with this level of magnetism? That's what I don't understand. Okay, I think Mega Satan's pretty much gonna die instantly, and I also think we might just rip him off the wall, which would be beautiful to behold here. Careful, get away from me, chest. I don't want you. All right, let's get this going. Use that charge, and once more. And I think once more is the correct amount. So we've actually only got 
two hearts to beat Mega Satan with, but I do think that's probably enough. I'm just going to stand here and see what happens. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's actually too strong! The power is too- So of course I run out of hydro space just seconds before the Satan fights fight. You know, professionalism at its best here at Rage Gaming. You may see we've got half a heart left. Well, as it turns out, this is a pretty dangerous synergy for Mega Satan, and we are about to die. I warn you that now. Oh, Christ! Nope, oh, yeah, there we go. It just pulls everything into you and hits you and rips him off the wall, and there we have it. But I hope you enjoyed that synergy lab. Definitely different and a lot of fun. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy.